Hey everyone, I'm Nina Zeta, Director of Partnerships at Sidewalker Daily, and today we're gonna to talk about blogger trips. So if you don't know anything about us, um, my agency, we're really in a good space because we work on both sides of the influencer world. Our clients are both brands, hotels, um, tourism boards, you know, we consult for all different types of travel brands, but we also work with bloggers and influencers directly in helping them on the business side of things. So we're kind of on both sides. And today I want to talk about blogger trips. They're also known as influencer trips. These trips are really something that I know a lot about because I have worked with different tourism boards on multiple blogger trips or influencer trips. And I just kind of want to share some information with those that are interested to learn more you guys about what these are. So a blogger trip or an influencer trip can be solo or it can be group. They are, used to be called press trips back in the day. Um, they're still, you know, they still are press trips. But when I look at influencers and putting like influencers and bloggers with journalists, I often find that the group's especially if it's, you know, if it is a group trip, it just doesn't mesh well together. They have different needs. For example, my influencers want to wake up at 4.30 in the morning to take a sunrise shot at a villa, whereas my travel writer is kind of like, I don't need that content. You know, I, I want to visit a nice restaurant on property and get all the information. I'm speaking in, in hotel as a, as a hotel example. So influencers and journalists have different needs. So a lot of times um, brands, especially on you know the travel side, hotels and tourism boards, they have set up different blogger trips um, where bloggers can come down together um, and influencers can come down together and get that the content that they need. Influencer trips are super successful usually. Obviously, it depends who's on your trip. It's because you're feeding um, off this group dynamic. It's so much more fun going, networking with other people in your industry. You guys tend to spend five, six nights together. Sometimes you don't know them. You are going on like this press trip, which is now called a blogger trip. Um, and you're learning from each other. You're like vibing. And by the end of the trip, everyone just feels like family. It just feels like all mushy gushy. And you're like, oh, you feel like you know these people. Um, and you've gotten to know them so much better. It's also from a brand side, it's more effective to have a bunch of bloggers together because there's this group like effect, right? It's like, well, so-and-so is posting, so I'm going to post. And like you guys are posting of each other and it's like more authentic. It's like you're actually hey, we're actually all having fun versus you and your plus one. If you're just one influencer and they're a plus one, you may not get as much content because they're just like there by themselves versus if you're like in this fun group, it's kind of what um, we call the guerrilla warfare. It's like people who are following, let's just say an influencer, they may be following a few of the people on that trip and now they're seeing the messaging um, of your product, of your destination, of your hotel so much more versus then just seeing it on one account. They're seeing it now on like six, seven accounts. Um, in terms of the logistics of a blogger trip or influencer trip, like how many people go on them, I like to keep my group trips with like under 11 people because a lot of times my influencer or my blogger will bring a plus one and then there's either me or my business partner Clarice she'll go and then there's usually a photographer videographer on the trip to cover you know all get tons of other content and more than 11 people is like it's a lot to manage it's a lot of personalities and needs and requests and so-and-so left her shoes somewhere and so-and-so you know didn't wake up because the alarm didn't go off and it's just it can get crazy. So if you're on the brand side and you're organizing a blogger trip, um, you're gonna wanna probably try to keep it to under 11, including the hosts, because it just kind of gets out of control. In terms of like who gets invited on blogger trips and influencer trips, again, it's up to the brand and their goals and what they're looking to create. I think the most important part of who you invite is group dynamic and group energies. Um, if there's people on the trip that kind of have like a common denominator, like they know someone on the trip or like, it's not just taking like five random strangers, like real world style and throwing them in a house together. That doesn't often work. If you find people that it's like, they may never have met in real life, but they're like follow each other on Instagram, or maybe two of the influencers are like friends and two others are friends, but they all kind of know each other. It just makes for better group dynamic when it's not this awkward feeling of like, who are all these people? Even though you're bringing your plus one, 
Um, and that's obviously not always the case. Some blogger trips, you don't get to bring your plus one. The ones that we do, we're working with influencers at like a different level where, you know, we understand that they need that plus one as production to get the shot that they need. And we budget for that. Or I make sure my client knows how important that plus one is, but it's not always the case. Obviously everything is case by case. Um, but group dynamic is super important to the success of a blogger trip. Also, blogger trips are different than blogger retreats, um, just so that you know. For the most part, when I think of a blogger trip or an influencer trip, it's hosted by a brand. It's hosted by a hotel, destination, a travel brand. They are the ones like paying and figuring this whole portion out. Blogger retreats, on the other hand, you have to pay to participate and learn um, blogging information and tools. So they're different because on a blogger trip or an influencer trip, you're kind of seen as like the media, you're being invited um, and you're being hosted, whereas a blogger trip or retreat, um, which are fabulous and amazing places to go and learn, those are more like workshop style where you're paying to gain a certain skill set. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on blogger trips. Um, if you're a brand that's looking to build out a blogger trip or an influencer trip, we can definitely consult you. So make sure that you can contact us below. We offer those services because we've done literally hundreds of trips um, for all different styles and types and sizes. And if you're an influencer looking to go on blogging trips um, or influencer trips, we also can support you on that. And the our contact for our coaching services is also below. So just make sure you um, like this video if you liked it. Comment, give us some love, give us some feedback. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. Um, and I hope to see you in the next video. Okay.